Hey, good morning, y'all. Just got my little boat in the water. Um, we're gonna go out here and see if we can find some red ear and some bluegill this morning. Now, last time I come out here to do this, I ended up finding crappie. And uh, well, if that happens again, I'm not gonna be disappointed. But <laughs> I've got some worms and a uh, another rod with a uh, jig and bobber rig, kind of the same thing I used last time. But uh, we're gonna go try to find some bluegill and some red ear. But uh, we'll be happy with whatever we get. So y'all come with me. All right, y'all. Well, it wasn't supposed to rain today. We've had a chance of rain, I think, for the last 14 or 15 days. And it may have rained four of those days. <laughs> I know they can't get it right all the time, but my goodness. They've been uh, pretty far off lately. But anyway, enough complaining about the weatherman. I'm not a weatherman, so I don't know. They're probably doing the best they can, I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, we're going to get here. Let's look. Let's let's just start over. Okay. I'm using these uh, Sam's Super Sensitive B and M rods. I got two of these. They're seven foot, and then I got a uh, Russell Bailey B and M. It's eight foot. Uh, it's got a jig and bobber rig on it. These just have a little hook and split shot and bobber. That hook's uh, number six. Little bait holder hook. And then our uh, bait. We got a bucket full of worms, y'all. Let me shake these around a little bit. See those leaves and stuff? That's where I found them. Just raking around leaves out in the, out in the woods. There's one. There's a bunch of them in there. Down in the bottom. Hiding. But anyway, that's what we're going to get them with. Or try to get them with anyway. Try not to get no worm dirt in my coffee. <laughs> I'm just going to use about half. About half of one. If we can get out of here, about 10 good sized bluegill or red ear this morning, I'll be happy. I'd be happy with 30 or 40, but I'm going to hook him a little bit like this. That way it can wiggle some like that. Just in case he needs to wiggle to get some attention. It's kind of windy. Oh. So I just threw my anchor off and I'm gonna fish around right here for a few minutes and then I'll uh, drop down or move up and probably do the same thing. That way I ain't have to uh, fight my boat with this wind. But, all right, now I'm going it's mist and rain. I'm gonna try to keep my lens as clean as possible, keep my back to it, but I apologize in advance for any uh, smudged lenses. <laughs> But all right, we're going to try to get them, y'all. Oh, there goes the one. <laughs> okay, we're on the board now with a keeper. As long as we don't lose him. All right. First keeper. Yeah, buddy. That's what we're after, y'all. That and bigger. Let me get my basket. Got it hiding in here somewhere. All right. There we go. Oh, there goes one. Oh, that's right where I caught that other one. That last good one. Oh, look at him. Nice goodness he's a scrapper get in here yeah buddy that's a good one, ain't it all right in the basket this fella will go
Oh, there we go. Oh, man, I pitched it back in them weeds. And he snatched it up. Another dandy. Man, these are a lot of fun. This rod I'm using, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but it's a light action, so. That makes it a lot more fun. <laughs> Look at that guy. All right, in the basket he'll go. Oh, man, they are back there. <laughs> oh, goodness. Get out of them weeds. He's got me in them weeds. They're helping him a little bit. Tighten that drag. Oh, look at him have a fit. <laughs> hey, my gosh. He's strong. Oh, my goodness. That's a big old red ear, y'all. Big old red ear. Oh, he's a good one. Let's get him. Ooh, we got him. Whew. Well, I'm gonna have to get my pliers for this one. Y'all give me a second. <clears throat> ah! Peeing all over me. All right, there he is. <clears throat> That's a good one. Okay, we're gonna put him in the basket. That's about three I've pulled out between that weed patch and that tall grass right there. I'm gonna throw him in the basket. We're gonna keep keep chunking in there until it quits producing. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, y'all had to duck that time. <laughs> oh shoot, let's try that again. <laughs> goes one we got him <laughs> come here buddy oh he's a good one yeah that's a good one get up here that's a keep we're gonna drop my anchor right here we found one so we'll fish it pretty good all right there he is. That's a dandy. All right. Chunk him in the basket. Oh. Oh, there he goes. There, he's got it. Little scrapper. <laughs> oh, these things are a blast. Where you at? There you are. Hey, you want to come to supper? <laughs> You're going to whether you want to or not. Nice one, ain't it? Yeah, buddy. Man, that was quick. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I just tightened that drag up a little bit. <coughs> He's a dandy. I think we got us another red ear. Yep, sure do. Oh, get in this boat, big boy. Man, that's gonna be some good supper. <laughs> Shoot. Get that hook out of there. My goodness, look at him, y'all. That's a good one. Let's get him in the basket. There he goes. Got him. Good, good, 
good bluegill. Oh, get in here. Yeah, buddy. This water's really shallow. I can see the bottom. It's just getting shallower as we go. But uh, that's where they're at. They're shallow right up next to the bank most of the time. A lot of times, you can see how deep I'm fishing. A lot of times my bait's just sitting on the bottom. But uh, all right, another good one. We're gonna put him in the basket. There goes one. Got him. Oh, come here. Man, this is so much fun. <laughs> oh, get in here. Another bluegill. All right. We're going to stop and look at a couple of these. These are some good ones, y'all. All right, y'all. We're going to look at a few of these. I'm going to take me a little break here. Um, catching these right next to the bank, right up in the grass. They're not on bed. They're, uh, they seem to be scattered. You, you'll still usually catch two or three in the same area, but I don't think they're on bed. But um, anyway, here's one of the big red ears. Nice fish. But like I said, they're right up next to the bank, real shallow. I'm probably I'm fishing about eight or nine inches deep, and a lot of times I'm so shallow, my worm's sitting on the bottom. So. Um, whoop. There's one of them big bluegills. But yeah, I'm just trolling through here, and when I catch one, I'll throw my anchor out, and I'll just kind of fish that area, and once I get done, I'll pull my anchor and I'll troll around a little bit till I catch another good one and then I'll stop. But I'm not saying it's the best strategy, but that's what I'm using today. But um, anyway, we're going to get these back in the water and uh, I'm going to have me a couple shots of coffee and we're going to get back after them. There goes one. Oh, there he is. There he is. That old worm just drifted right across in front of him and he grabbed it. Oh yeah. Big boy. Yeah, buddy. Gonna be some good eating at our house. Got him. Oh! <laughs> he's, he's the main one. Another red ear. I don't know if he's as big as the other two. But he fought like he was. And he's big enough to eat. Look at that dude. <laughs> We're filling the basket. There he goes. Dag gum. He got me in them weeds. As soon as that hit the water. Another red ear. Ooh. Hey, y'all settle down. Oh, I hit my button on my trolling motor. <laughs> I thought something was wrong with my fish. I stepped on my trolling motor button. Well, come on out of there, Jack. All right, there he is. I'll put him in the basket. Oh, one popped in. Did y'all see that? He didn't stay with it. I'll cruise through here, and when I find one, I think I've, I've probably said this a couple times. I'll uh, throw my anchor and fish the area and usually find a few more. Where you going? Come here. Like this one. 
looks like another, yeah, another bluegill. Get in here. That's some good eating right there. I keep saying that too. My wife says I repeat myself all the time like an old man. I'm like, well, I am getting older. <laughs> all right, gonna put him in the basket, y'all. There he goes. Well, they're laid up in there. <laughs> what we got? Oh, it's a bluegill. Another bluegill. All right. I'm going to put him in the basket. There he goes. Got another dandy. I've lost count of how many I got in the basket. I know all these won't make the video or it'll be an hour long or more. But we got some good ones. I got a few in there that are kind of borderline and I'll probably just freeze them and save them for catfish bait. But yeah, we're working them over pretty good there. All right, we're gonna keep after them. There he goes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's having a fit. Oh shoot. Get in here and straighten up fat boy golly he is a fat boy look at that gut or girl i don't know couldn't tell you but i know they both taste good fried up in some hot grease <laughs> there he goes that wind I was letting that wind just kind of carry my worm along that shoreline there. And uh, I've done that a couple times and eventually it'll drift across in front of one of them and they'll grab it up like he did. Another red ear or shell cracker as they're called in other places. I honestly like shell cracker better. It just sounds cooler to me, but <laughs> I'm sure people will correct me either way. But anyway we're gonna put this big guy in the uh, basket all right y'all we're gonna take one last look at these i ain't got a count on them but you can see there's a bunch look at there all righty all right y'all well we got a big old mess of bluegill on red here but uh I got plenty to clean all I want to fool with, so I'm going to head home and clean these up. Hope y'all enjoy this video. If so, make sure y'all hit the thumbs up button for me. If y'all want to see more, hit subscribe. Thank y'all.